My fellow Torontonian Andrew Wiggins laid a Canadian poster on the Slovenian sensation as Air Canada wasn't merely cleared for takeoff, but transcended modern aviation, putting up his landing gear on Luka's grill. Luka was a great sport about it post-game, and I'm expecting Doncic to use this as motivation. The fact of the matter is, despite what Dallas did in the second round, and while they've had an amazing year, the Golden State Warriors aren't the Phoenix Suns. With the dubs, you're talking about a team that's widely regarded as the best in the NBA. No team in league history has ever come back from a 3-0 series deficit, so the Warriors have likely booked a plane ticket to their sixth finals appearance in the last decade. The terrifying reality facing the Golden State Warriors matchup is about to be fully broken down for you. Before continuing, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss a single video, as only 11.5% of you watching right now are subscribed. Also, please drop a thumbs up. It takes a few seconds and makes a massive difference in YouTube's algorithm. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at dflowhoops and I'll follow you back. Link is down below in the description for those two platforms. The most intimidating fact about this Warrior team is that while they have two of the greatest shooters of all time in Steph Curry and Klay Thompson, they also lead the 2022 postseason in points in the paint, and the slashing from Andrew Wiggins has been a big contributor to that, giving the Warriors some much needed athleticism on the wing with his perimeter clamps defensively, exceptionally quick first step, and under control handle for his size. What makes the former Vaughn secondary Nighthawk so tough to defend is the man's pull-up jumper. Up to this point, Maple Jordan's currently number one on the Warriors in three-point efficiency during these playoffs, making 40% of his deep-range bombs. The reason he fits in so perfectly next to Steph, Clay, Draymond, and Jordan Poole is Andrew's lack of ego, ability to move without the ball in his hands, and also his high IQ and feel for the game. When you combine those qualities with how good he seems to be feeling mentally, playing for the most successful organization in the NBA, and it doesn't matter how many points he scores, Wiggins is always going to have a positive impact on his teammates with his high energy and immaculate vibes. Two-way Wiggs is an absolute phenom, and considering the all-around impact he's had, whether it's in the locker room, defensively, or with his extra bucket getting for a team about to make the finals, it's time those who called him a draft bust in the past come forward and apologize. Andrew Wiggins deserves every bit of respect. Now for some mind-boggling stats that I guarantee you no one could have predicted coming into these West Finals between the Dubs and Mavs. Firstly, Andrew Wiggins is a plus 66 in this series, the best on the Warriors, while shockingly, Luka Doncic is a minus 61 in the Conference Finals, the worst on the Mavericks. Which just goes to show you how Andrew's once-in-a-lifetime springiness and naturally gifted athleticism has significantly bothered Luka Magic. Secondly, the Warriors have outscored the Mavericks by nearly 29 points per 100 possessions with Wiggins on the floor. Additionally, the Warriors are 38.6 points per 100 possessions better on offense when Wiggins is on the court. As you're seeing with these clamps on your screen right now, Wiggins is almost always forcing Doncic to his offhand, making him settle for relatively inefficient shot attempts. Luka's tendencies have been well scouted out by the Warriors coaching staff and player personnel, but Wiggins completes the game plan with his high level of execution. Of course, it takes a full team effort to slow down Luka. The high amount of switching and hard hedging displays exactly that. But there's no denying Wiggins has been at the forefront of that group effort. Who knows what Luka would be doing without Wiggins. Defending Doncic hasn't taken away Andrew's locomotive-esque high motor, especially on the offensive glass. Only Kavon Looney and Gary Payton II have a higher offensive rebounding rate than Andrew Wiggins, according to Joe V. Ray of SB Nation. That rebounding rate has gone up to 9.2% during these conference finals, second only to Looney's 13.9%. Game 3 in the Big D saw Air Canada score 27 points on 11 for 20 shooting from the field, committing zero turnovers, grabbing 11 rebounds, and dishing out three assists. Anyone who questioned why he was an all-star starter has eaten their words. Quickly flashing back to February 7th of 2020, when Golden State sent guard D'Angelo Russell, along with two bench players, Jacob Evans III and Amari Spellman, to Minnesota, in exchange for 2014's first overall draft pick in the product of Kansas and my fellow Canadian Andrew Wiggins, along with a first and second round pick in 2021's NBA draft. Andrew entered the perfect situation, 
not just for him, but for the Warriors. He wouldn't be relied upon as a first, second, or even a third scoring option, and while his scoring would be essential, it wouldn't necessarily be a make-or-break aspect. His defense would be paramount, but in a specialist role as a wing stopper. All he needed to do was play in his role to the best of his abilities. He didn't have to worry about putting a franchise on his back or living up to his big contract. He didn't need to be the leader, he just needed to be an example of what it means to thrive within your role. Wiggins hasn't just been thriving, he's been a superstar within his role. Morphing back to the present day, and answering a question about how the Warriors have rebuilt their wing depth since 2019 summer, Steve Kerr said, quote, I think the Wiggins trade is the key to all of this. I don't know where we'd be without him defensively, with his work on Luka, and every other top wing that we have to face. He's just been brilliant, end quote. Watching Steph's interview after Game 3, he had endless praise for Wiggins, but his quote of the night came when he spoke on the poster from Andrew, as Curry said, and we got to see 800 replays because of the challenge. Appreciate you, Mark. That was nice. Meanwhile, in typically hilarious fashion, Jackie Moot, I mean Clay Thompson, said that Wiggins looked like Dominique Wilkins on Sunday night. Draymond also made some headlines when he said Andrew's poster dunk was even better, considering it came on a superstar in Luka. I like that take from Dre. As you can see, those three champions have embraced Wiggins as a high-volume producer in their system with open arms. Everyone loves them some two-way wigs. Even Luka admired Andrew's slam postgame, saying, I wish I had those bunnies. Good on Doncic for that classy sportsmanship, but the best part about this Warrior team is how they're constantly giving each other praise. If you've been a Warrior fan for a while, that may seem normal to you, but trust me, other teams just don't talk about each other like Golden State does. It can be said that playing for your coach is the most important aspect of winning basketball, but when each player is genuinely strapping up and competing for the players next to them, that's what legitimately leads to winning basketball. Besides Wiggins, several other Warriors had great games. Curry led the team with 31 points and 11 dimes. Curry's assist totals were huge, as Dallas aggressively doubled him all night. He's just a master at manipulating defenses. The Game 2 star, Kevon Looney, continued to dominate the glass as he led the team with 12 rebounds, while Draymond Green provided his usual brand of superb defense. Things definitely didn't seem this bleak for the Warriors not too long ago, with Curry's injury before the postseason, and the team generally slumping down the stretch of the regular season. But the Warriors are taking off at the perfect time. The poster jam from Wiggins could be a foreshadowing for the dominance we'll see for the Warriors into the finals. In your opinion, what's the best quality from Andrew Wiggins? Best answer down below in the comments gets next video shout out. Top 5 commenters by June 21st receive free NBA merchandise this summer, so leave your take on today's question to compete with Community Speaks. Shout out to Brian, who says, What makes Miami so special is that they truly bring out the best in every player. PJ Tucker rarely put up these type of amazing performances in other uniforms, but for Miami, and even while being 37 years old, he's proving that he has plenty left in the tank. I've been a diehard fan since 2005, and I must say, this Heat squad is definitely one of the most entertaining and one of my favorites because any night, someone new can step up. Opposing teams literally cannot prepare for Miami, and every night, they prove why depth is so important in championship runs. Let's go Heat. Appreciate every answer. I hope you have a great one. DFlow signing off.